Hey guys, it's Santi Radio. Okay, so tonight's video topic is this: herbivore Japanese and carnivore Japanese. Okay, I know you have no idea what I'm talking about, right? But don't worry. So I I'll explain, okay? So this herbivore and carnivore, it's like a marketing words that uh, shows up maybe about ten years ago in Japan, and then those companies and also magazine, whatever business in this business, you know, they started using this phrase herbivore. In carnivore, in Japanese, sōshōkē danshi, nīshōkē danshi, like this. All right. Usually we talk about man here, not a woman somehow. Yeah. But anyway, so uh, they divide Japanese man into two categories: either herbivore or carnivore. All right. I know it's kind of different, right? But so tonight I want to explain this. So what is this? And then uh, I got some articles, and I want to share you that how people see about. Everywhere, and then carnivore <laughs> Japanese one okay anyway so this channel is all about Japan Japanese culture so if you like Japan please subscribe okay before you watch okay so as usual let me share the comment first all right it's from Abe Mariam thank you and uh, Mariam said uh, very deep and logic okay thank you Sandy san uh, please talk about herbivore carnivore Japanese man sure Mariam Thank you for the comments. Okay, so first of all, let me show you what is herbivore and carnivore, okay? Hmm. Before I share this article. So one lady, she's a marketing professional, okay? And then she starts seeing that characteristic of Japanese men. And then she feel like, aha, I can divide it into two. Two categories. Which one is which is aggressive one or passive one? Alright? Aggressive Japanese man. And passive Japanese man. You know why? Uh, you know how she found out this kind of differences when she when she's doing research about uh, love or you know like a relationship with the other gender or female, whatever. Okay. When they talk about doing the uh, research about relationship, they find uh, she found out. Aha! Uh -huh, there are two types about uh, in, in Japanese man. One is very aggressive one and passive one. And as you can imagine, that aggressive one is carnivore. Okay, and passive one is herbivore, <laughs> like <a tree> off. <laughs> and then carnivore is more like a lion, I guess. Mm. Anyway, so she just start calling them like a nikshokke danshi. Danshi it means boys, right? And then uh, soshokke danshi, okay, means danshi, okay. Nikshokke means carnivore, all right? carnivore, all right? Soshokke is a uh, herbivore, okay, danshi. So uh, that's how we sp it spread out in this in this country. So without understanding uh, her, you know, research or um, hearing her explanation, okay, we instantly kind of understand what she wanna say by just phrase, you know, nikshokke danshi and soshokke danshi. We can have it. We can imagine very easily. That's why it became it spread so fast, and still now people use these words, terminologies among uh, Japanese people. All right. So let's take a look. What kind of characteristics they have, okay? Starting from Carnivore, and also let me know whether you are carnivore, foreigner, or herbivore <laughs> foreigner, <laughs> man. And by the way, lately they talk about that women too. Nikshoke joshi, joshi means girls, right? So uh, think about yourself. All right. So first, uh, I wanna share this smart log that uh, the one I got from. Okay, and it says uh, characteristic of carnivore Japanese man. What is it? What is uh, good and bad? Okay, pro and cons about them. Uh, there, are many, oh God, there are many. There are 11 points. So uh, let me pick some, okay? Uh, so I can move on to uh, other later soon. All right, so first of all, okay, <laughs> this is a picture they put on it. See, white guys. I don't know. Anyway. Okay, so Nikshoke Doshi Danshi, the Joseka Nikabasane. It says, Carnival Japanese are popular among girls. Okay. Hmm. All right, so what kind of characteristics? All right. Okay. See? Let me share you the picture too. What kind of picture they use in the blog? White guy again. See? This is Japanese people, okay? All right, no offense. All right. Let's see if we can find Latino or someone, okay, in this, this blog, whatever. See? That's how they... Okay, okay. No politics tonight, okay, anyway. All right. So, Nikshoke Danshin chose the uh What's a characteristic, common characteristic among coffee boy Japanese mans, uh, boys? Okay. 
first they are very positive and aggressive okay so whatever they face they're kind of positive and aggressive they take initiatives okay so you know as you can hear that it says as you can hear that like a carnivore it's like like a hunter you know so it's like a lion therefore whenever they have intuition whenever they have some mindset i want to do this i want to have that they take actions so those uh, those guys are uh, considered as carnivore japanese all right and they do they do their best to get whatever they want i'm so carnivore now yeah <laughs> what about you <laughs> all right and it says especially oh indian good indian man yeah is it indian anyway okay especially it says about relationship with the female very very positive and aggressive yeah so whenever we hear about nikshoke danshi and then uh, soshoke danshi we instantly connect with the relationship with the females you know that's it because uh as i told you later okay but uh however it's more like a passive you know they don't take actions but kind of always very aggressive as it says so it's like a lion you know whatever if they find a target yeah they do their best to get her that's all she says mm. doesn't matter if she has a boyfriend or girlfriend yeah <laughs> that's what it says <laughs> doesn't matter all right they take actions and then get her yeah very aggressive yeah therefore it says carnivore japanese man uh approach to multiple ladies at the same time simultaneously mm. not me <laughs> anyway so that's the first characteristic and there are 11s don't worry i picked some okay let's try another three a three four okay a second one um which is good okay this one's good he has confidence in him look is he white or indian again black white guy see see that's how they anyway okay why don't they use asian people in the blog man seriously what the hell okay no police tonight yeah sorry sorry it's about love peace yeah anyway so this white man i think he he could be japanese yes sorry sorry he could be japanese but a very minority anyway all right it says so uh characteristics of carnival japanese man is he has confidence in him yeah and he says that is a big characteristic and they always have confidence whatever they do their action their mindset their opinion they have confidence you can see it since they have a high ambition okay they try many things therefore they have many failure and success as well in them therefore they have confidence it's kind of makes sense yeah so for example uh if they want to have uh da -da 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 -da. okay he says if you are female and if you are facing to carnivore japanese man what what you should do to get him to get the attention from him well it's very easy it says just compliment his action okay and that's the most important thing because he knows he has confidence he takes actions and he knows he thinks he knows everything right <laughs> It's like me, shit. <laughs> Therefore, give him compliments. Oh my God, Santi, you know, really? You do this? Wow, you do that? Wow, you did this? Oh my God, you are the first guy have done this. Tell him, he likes it. If he's a carnivore Japanese man, it says, not me, but I can understand, all right? <laughs> all right, this is, a, okay, you should know this one. All right, characteristics of carnivore man, they have very, they easy, to switch on and off it says about relationship so it means when they find out okay not her next that kind of mentality is very fast it says therefore they move on to next lady you know they don't drag they don't lingering you know what i mean they just start, when as they find out oh my god this girl no done next like this that's so me <laughs> oh god i'm so carnival now yeah so it's like it says they try they approach females uh, ladies and then if as soon as they find out that lady has no interest in you in him he move on next doesn't st stick be sticky you know like, like a glue you know what i mean like always hey please talk to me hey baby what you doing tonight yeah how you doing they don't do this if you don't fall uh, you don't talk to me all right next next 
That is so right. I mean, I, that's, I, that's I'm, I'm telling you, right? Every time, you know, this is a mindset you should have if you're a carnivore. <laughs> but that's, I, that's how I think, you know, just imagine that. Who is the best hitter in MLB? Yeah, Major League Baseball. Who is the best hitter now? Ichiro? That was Japanese one, yes. But there are many good ones, right? But they miss seven out eight, seven out ten balls. They cannot hit the ball. You understand this? Seven out ten, man. It's most everything. Only they hit three times and they're best hitter in the MLB. Major League Baseball in America. Top in the class, right? So they miss, they can't hit seven times. Why you stick with it seven times, you know what I mean? If you know that you can hit seven times, then that balls, just don't care. Just to find out, find the balls, you can hit and home run. That's the mentality. I think this applies for guy and girl, same. It doesn't matter, you know, if you want to have a better life, you should change, 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 change quickly. But it doesn't mean give up easily, you know? I like persistence, but find out whether you should invest your time resources your, your most valuable asset is time seriously your time is the most valuable more than money car anything else your time is the most valuable because you die anyway right so how you use your life time to this guy to this girl you know what i mean once you find out ah none next that's very important sorry too much philosophy i know talk to it man all right <laughs> hey see many white guys yeah <laughs> keep showing up yeah many white guys yeah, anyway, all right, and next one, all right, another characteristic. Mm. So, uh, carnival Japanese, let me, let me let me give you another two or three, okay? That's, that's it, all right? Uh, they are very manly, very macho. They're thinking, behavior, very macho, yeah? Macho man, right? It doesn't mean they are physically macho, that's the point. In Japan, again, as, as I told you, right, in this video, you know, about the physique in Japan, we don't really care about physique. I do care, I work out, right? But most of the Japanese, they don't care about macho. Watch other Japanese YouTubers. Seriously, tell me which guy has the best body. Yes, you'll see my naked body in th this summer because I'm gonna be in a contest. Yeah, I show you my membership. Yeah, not this one, <laughs> okay. But take a look at other YouTubers, Japanese YouTubers, including Nobita, Yuta. Are they macho? No, they're very skinny. Like, like starving skinny. I don't know why they do it, but in this country, that's a beauty, you know. Therefore, macho in mentality is good for carnivore Japanese, but macho physically, not welcome, to be honest. Watch the video if you want to know more. Anyway, so mentally macho. For example, again, high ambition, they have confidence, they challenge new things, uh, they are so straightforward, they're very clear mindset, and uh, they are so, you know, they're so talkative, socialized too, because uh, I like this, let's go. Hey. Hey Lisa, do you want to go to this restaurant? Let's go. It's so good. So they're very, you know, they take initiative too, and they lead the way. You know what I mean? They don't ask her. Hey baby, hey tell me, hey, where should I go? No, like this, you know. The guy, she is a man. Take a lead. You know. That's a characteristic. Okay, this is good too. Okay. So carnival Japanese, they're very, very detail. Yeah, they care details. It's so me now. Yeah. They often, frequently. Contact. Hey, baby, how you doing? Hey, how, how you doing? You know, they talk to very quickly on often. It says. Say it says. Okay, since they are approaching to new ladies or people, right? Or they they're going for whatever they want to have. Therefore, they are very serious about it. That's why when especially when when they when they talk about girls, for instance, okay, they want to get her. That's why they do their best effort. That's why they talk and then reply back quickly. You know, that's who they are, right? However, once they have no interest, no. That's so carnival Japanese. Oh my God, it's mine. It's so me, man. Yeah. Therefore, you know, uh, you know, I'm doing now uh, membership, right? My uh, Japanese language school. Usually, uh, if I get a, uh, if I if I find my, if I have a cell phone in my hand, yeah, if I got a co comment, line, whatever, I reply instantly. Boom. When I don't see it. I don't, I cannot reply, right? But whenever I have it in my phone, on my hands, okay? I not find it, I reply. Yeah. Some people, you know, postpone. I don't know why they do. They postpone things. Seriously, uh, it's, I don't know why they do, but I reply ASP. Yeah. 
But anyway, so those guys, very, very. And then, okay, this is too. They are very pushy. You know what I mean? They're always kind of, kind of ego too. Yeah, aggressive. And then, oh my God, so many white guys. You know, look, by the way, every time, white guys only. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Never stop. Maybe Irish, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Yeah. So whatever. Whatever. Yeah. 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 Latinos. Latinos. Yes. More Latinos. Yeah. I guess. All right. Anyway. So that's it. Yeah. And they do work. They work hard. They get payments. High payments. It says. Yeah. I can feel that because of those guys, they really doing their best efforts to get what they want. You know. That's kind of type of guy. Anyway, I think it's enough, right? Oh, okay, shit, 15 minutes. All right, don't worry. Move on to the RV boy. And don't worry, I searched already. Look, now all of a sudden, Japanese man show up. Yeah, look at this. Can you see, can you see this? Yeah. I want to show you. That's a picture of a Kabi boy. Yeah, so RV boy. Yeah, yeah, so RV boy, yeah. Anyway, so, <laughs> so this is a Soshoke Danshi. Yeah, this is exactly what we assume the face, you know, curly hair, and glasses, kind of skinny, and very light skin color, somehow, reading books. It's typical, isn't it? Yeah, I'm sure he doesn't go work out. Yeah. Anyway, let's take a look. What kind of characters do they have? Oh, God. Okay, it says this. Watch out. Yeah, watch out. Urban or Japanese, it doesn't mean they have no confidence. It says... 草食系男子特徴を紹介。草食系イコール自信がないではありません。Alright, so they have confidence. Anyway, so there are eight characteristics. Okay, good. They completely summarize it. Let's go one by one. Alright, the first one, the priority, priority about relationship. Okay, is law in their life. So they're not like I want a girlfriend. I want a girlfriend. Not that kind of guys. Maybe their first hobby, you know, a job or whatever they like to do, and then relationship. Mm, that's characters, a uh, first characteristic they have as a every boy Japanese one. Okay? So it's, it's simply, it's opposite of carnivore. So carnivore, carnivore in Japanese ones, the priority, uh, the female prior, in their priorities are kind of high or higher sometimes. Yeah. Job, money, or uh, you know, females. But are we one? No, kind of opposite. Mm. They, okay. Second characteristic, they have hobby to devote, to uh, make them fascinated with. It says, for example, reading books, watching YouTube, game, survival game, DIY, music. <laughs> That's me. Shit. No, I'm Obiwar. Yes. <laughs> Shit. Sorry, my my protein time. <laughs> Yeah, I read books and I watch YouTube, even doing YouTube like this, and I play Call of Duty mobile. I'm a legend, by the way. Yes, anyway, on a PS4. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, see, DIY music. Yeah, so they, it says, they enjoy the time alone. That's so me. Yeah, in a week, I'm alone, like 95%. Yeah, seriously. Oh, no, I'm over. Yeah, I'm, I'm just off now. All right, third characteristic. They don't talk much about their past or their emotion or idea. Okay, that's not me at all. <laughs> okay, it says, um, over Japanese, they're more like quiet, you know, and then they don't have the mentality or desire that, please know me, understand me, and uh, what do you think about my opinion? That kind of mentality, they don't have it. Uh, however, they prefer, uh, they, they have more priority about please don't hate me or I don't want to bother you. That kind of feeling shows up first, it says. Yeah. Therefore, therefore they don't want to share whatever it could be controversial or something about their past history or past uh, uh, personal emotions, which yeah, which can bother them, right? <laughs> yeah, okay, sorry. I talk a lot, as you can see, you know? <laughs> Every day, YouTube! All right, number four. Characteristic. They don't look at the ladies. They don't talk to ladies. Uh, yeah, I'm over for now, okay? 
<laughs> okay. They do not spontaneously talk to ladies. Sorry, my light let's hit it. Yeah. Okay. They do not spontaneously talk to lady. And that's a characteristic of everywhere Japanese. Mm. So you can say introvert. Yeah. Well last time, um last time in my membership, you know, you know, with my membership, uh, we we're talking about uh MBTI, MTBI, MBTI, yeah. And then uh, I was talking about I was ESTJ or something. Yes. And then my membership, you know, you know what? All of my membership, they are ISPT or ISPJ or something. Everyone is an I. See? For one E, all I. You know, we're surprised, we're talking, okay? But seems like this herbivore Japanese and the carnivore Japanese are the same things, I guess. This Monica, extrovert, and this one, introvert, I guess. Mm. Yeah, therefore, they're not that aggressive because they don't, they don't have needs to, you know. All right. Fifth, all right, characteristics, yeah, okay? They don't chase girls. Okay, we know that, all right? And the last, uh, two more, okay? Number six, if, okay, this is good for you. If they can assure that they can get yes for the, for the question, they do confess. As you know that in Japan, that the confession culture, you know, watch this video. So when you, when you start your relationship, you know, even before you ask for a date, okay? Those guys are very Japanese ones, okay, boys. They want to have high possibility, like assurance. They want to have, you know, like a, yeah, assurance <laughs> to get that she said yes for everything. For, for a date, for going out, be relationship, you know what I mean? So if they have that, you know, if they make sure that they can have a yes, then they move, take, take, uh, take actions. Mm. So they're pa very passive, I think. Yeah. Okay, it says, uh, every Japanese man, they don't have the mindset like men should be like this kind of mentality. Therefore, even about confession, like uh, going ask, ask, ask her out or going for a date, they, don't, they think that girls should, should do that too. Yeah. Somehow, you know, in, in general, I think in, in the world, men take actions you know, and then taking take initiatives, right? In many cases. But they believe that girls should do the same thing. Yeah, they are very gender equality. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I stop, I stop, okay. All right, two more. Uh, seventh, all right, they don't wanna, they don't wanna cheat, okay? However, Japanese months, they don't have any desire for cheating, yeah. However, uh, they, it doesn't mean that they are, they like one person forever. But it's simply, they don't want to have other girls or ladies in their life. If there's one, that's enough. That's how they think. But it doesn't mean they love the lady forever. You know, if they fight, they fight. They break up, you know what I mean? So, yeah, that's what he says. Mm. And they give up ASAP uh, as soon as they feel that. They felt that these girls has negativity to me. This girl doesn't like me. This girl might not be interested in me. You know what I mean? Once they, once they feel something slightly, they back off. Yeah. So therefore, if you are foreign, foreign females and you're looking for a Japanese man, this kind of man, okay? Or if you're a Japanese man, seriously, be careful how you, you know, show your emotion and also a tone of voice, how you react. You might sending the really wrong message mm. and he might back off. I've seen, I've received so many comments like a Japanese guy ghosted, ghost me, or whatever. They just suddenly disappear, you know? Watch this video, I'm talking about that. Yeah. So, yes, in fact, there are some guys, as I talk in this video, you know, there are some guys just hopping around because they are more like a carnivore Japanese. But the other reason I can easily imagine that the misunderstanding, miscommunications, because some lady sending wrong message to their guys and then they think, they, they feel like, oh my God, I think she doesn't like me. So back off. Before got the shameful experience, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I can imagine this. Anyway, last one. Okay, it says, uh, the every Japanese man, they want to take initiatives. You know what I mean? But they want to walk together. It says, so it's like this. Hey girls, I have a nice restaurant, do you want to go? 
is more innocent, right? I take a lead, right? He don't wanna do that. Maybe he wanna talk to her. Hey, baby, do what? Where you wanna go? You wanna talk? Do you wanna eat lunch? Uh, this place or that place? What do you think? I prefer this place. What about you? You know, they wanna talk, negotiate, not negotiate, but talk and then uh, and get to the conclusion. That kind of mentality. That's it. Yeah. And again, it says every Japanese man. It doesn't mean they have no confidence. So don't get, don't misunderstand that point. All right. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> so what do you think? That's the differences. Let me know about your country and how you think about those differences. I think in in the world there everywhere, but somehow Japanese people they love to make these kind of marketing words. Yeah, I show I, sh I will share you more if if I find more. Okay. And by the way, I think I'm more herbivore, right? What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, let me know what you think. If you like the thumbs, yeah. Subscribe, see you tomorrow. Bye.